everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you're doing really really well i hope you all had a delicious dinner if you haven't had dinner yet i hope you have a lovely dinner because i like i do agree with like having a good dinner or like what you have for dinner can make or break your day it's a very important thing so whatever you've had for dinner or are having for dinner today whatever the case is i hope you have a delicious dinner today i'm at h m hall it's gonna be a try and haul as always my top says yoga by the way because my hair's covering most of it so it looks like it says og and i feel like that's probably gonna be really annoying if like if i was watching the video and i didn't know what the word said it would really do my head in so it just says yoga there we go anyway this is a h m hall try and haul as always what is my hand doing let's put that down um I put that down and I picked the other one up because that makes sense. I've got one homeware bit today, so it's predominantly clothing. That was a big word for me. Um, and yeah, we're trying to as always. Everything will be linked down below. I'm just going to get straight on with it because basically my curtain bangs aren't looking cute. They look all right for the first half an hour of me having styled them and then they drop out and then they look really bad and we're now at the really bad stage. So I'll probably try and avoid looking at the viewfinder because otherwise, if I sit here for the next 25 minutes as I film this video and I just look in the viewfinder the whole time, I'm going to give myself some insecurities and I don't want that. So I'm just going to avoid it. Just out of sight, out of mind, what I don't know won't hurt me. Um, ignorance is bliss, all that stuff. Like, look, what is it doing? Like, oh my God, I need to go see my hairdresser ASAP. Anyway, we're going to start off with this. It's very autumnal vibes, this. And it's not sure how I feel about it because I love summer. So I'm just clinging on to summer. And we're only, like, we're not even in August yet. We are still in July. But places are starting to bring out awesome clothes and it's making me feel a little bit queasy. But anyway, this is a little cape type poncho-esque thing. It's like a kind of, not chocolate brown colour. Like what kind of brown are you? Like a really nice brown. Um, I think this is only like 19 99 as well. So it's a really good price. It's kind of hard to show. It's just like a really soft, almost like scarf material. But it's like a cape. And I wore this like... I kind of wore it as a dress, although you do need to wear something underneath it because, like, the sides are open. So I'd maybe wear, like, little white shorts or something with this just to obviously be covered up. Um, but I thought that looked really cute with, like, Ugg boots and stuff. But then, obviously, as it gets further into autumn and winter and it gets a bit chillier, this will look cute with, like, leggings as well and, like, jeans and things like that. And then I did also get another one because they released two. This was the same price as well. Um, this is kind of similar vibes to my blanket here. Um, it's, like, a kind of creamy white colour with grey on um kind of abstract type print it's the exact same fit as this um just like ooh, where did the voice go just a different pattern basically and like i said 19.99 i'm just trying to find my lipstick so i feel like i need to reapply it because it looks a bit faded um but yeah 19.99 for those i feel like that's a really good price and then moving on from those i've got something kind of similar we are really having autumn vibes here it's like making me scream cry throw up like i'm not uh, i'm not sure how i feel about it because like, like i said i've just literally wiped my fingers over my lipstick by accident and probably just wiped off all the lipstick I just put on um but yeah I do I kind of like autumn but I think summer is my favorite and I know that when autumn comes along it's bringing in the rain it's bringing in the cold dark nights it's bringing in the cold dark mornings that make it 10 times harder to wake up and get out of bed it's bringing in daylight at 7 a.m ending at 3 30 p.m meaning my day feels very short and i just lose motivation it's bringing in not nice things really but we also have to remember autumn's bringing in the apple pie custard it's bringing in the crispy leaves it's bringing in the pumpkin spice latte from primark if you're a fan of that which i'm personally not because it tastes like a yankee candle but you do you boo so yeah i'm not sure how i feel about it we are still only in july but needless to say if you're gonna bring out autumn clothes now it's like primark primark bring out their bikinis and swimwear in february or whatever and you always go in there and you think oh, god that's a bit early to be bringing out the bikinis but you still get one anyway because you know by the time july rolls around and you go in there and you try and get bikini for your holiday they're all sold out so it's one of those cases where when you see it you have to get it and that's what i'm doing okay don't shoot me i'm not the one bringing out the autumn clothes i'm just i'm just buying them okay so that being said this is the next item it's like a cardigan dress and it's really cozy it's a really lovely soft like material it's that kind of material that you just want to chuck on when it's dark outside in the morning and you just want to be cozy so it's like a kind of grayy color and then it's just got butter like tortoise shell buttons all the way down i got this in an extra small by the way the ponchos were one size i think were you one size i can confirm the ponchos were one size i am a size six and i'm five foot five this i got in an extra small it's really really nice you could obviously wear this open as a cardigan as well but i probably wouldn't i'd personally just wear this as a dress as it is but i really really like this really really nice material um and just a cute little like cardigan to go out and get your pumpkin spice latte wear some little 
lug boots, go into Waitrose or whatever local supermarket you may have and buy yourself like an autumny snack, like maple. I'm getting maple vibes, you know, like a mm, like a maple something. I'm not sure. Maple and pecan pastry with your pumpkin spice latte. Wearing this with your little lug boots, walking through the crispy leaves. I'm kind of here for it. Then I got this bag and I have, oh, like I do with most things, I have a few things to say about this bag. Now, first off, if any of you, if your dad, your mum, your auntie, anyone in your family owns or runs every, i.e. Hermes, Hermes, don't try and change your name and think that it's going to get rid of all the bad things that you've done. It doesn't work. We still don't really like you, okay? And when every changed from Hermes, I had the world's best Hermes delivery driver. He was amazing. He was reliable. I literally saw him on a daily basis and we that had a really good friendship. Then when every came about, they changed everything and he lost his job. Am I still bitter about it? Absolutely. Because now I've got a new delivery driver. We're kind of friends, but not much, right? And I keep having problems. So I placed a Boohoo order last Wednesday, okay? And it was meant to come next day delivery. So in my mind, if my calculations are correct, that means it should come on Thursday, i.e. a week ago today. Has that parcel arrived yet? No, it has not. It said to me on Thursday, Thursday early morning, it was at the Hermes every, whatever you want to call it, it's Hermes, okay? It was at their delivery depot. It's still there. Have you lost my parcel? I think so. And the reason why I'm extra annoyed about that is because I bought a shirt from Boohoo Man, which is basically identical to this bag, and it was the last one in stock. So now, if they've lost that parcel, okay, give me my money back, but I now can't reorder that shirt because it's out of stock. And the whole reason I bought this bag was to go with the shirt. And that is why I've told you that story. I wouldn't normally go for this bag. I like it, but I don't love it. But I saw Carms wearing this bag with said Boohoo shirt that I just mentioned. And it looked so cool because the shirt's like beige with black stripes on and some stripes are thicker than the others, which is very much like this bag. So I just thought that would be really cool. And then the bag was out of stock and the shirt was out of stock. So I couldn't order it, kept checking. They both happened to come in stock at the same time. So I ordered them, was over the moon shirt's not here but the bag itself is like a kind of book tote i've had these before from h&m i showed like a um black jungle print one a couple of hauls back and it's the same um the exact same style of bag just a different print so it's like it opens up to be like a rectangle sort of bag it's got a little zip pocket in it these make for really good beach bags because they're just a really nice structured shape they're a really good size and they're just easy to chuck things in and with the little shirt as a bikini cover up super cute vibes but i don't want to talk about it okay talking of beach bags i then got this which is actually it's a little bit noisy let me just bear with this is actually a beach bag. This is the first time I've seen it, but I have about 12 beach bags. I bought like four new beach bags this year. Do I need another beach bag? No, I don't. But when I saw this, it was one of those things where I was like looking at my phone and I was like, you don't need it, you don't need it, you don't need it. Scroll back up, add to basket sort of thing. This is a linen little beach bag, but actually, in person, she's not as cute as she was online. So it's actually really oversized, to be fair. Maybe I'm changing my mind. Um, It's like this linen oversized bag and it's like really like slouchy can you see that it's like a big blob of like jelly almost um but it's so big this would be oh my god you know what this would be really good for little supermarket trip because it's so big you can fit so much in it and it's like it's giving me like cool girl like matilda jerf is that how you say it like vibes it's like oversized baggy linen like slouchy like it's just cute like i could imagine a, like a bunch of white roses just sticking out of this and like a french baguette and then in here you've got some nice like hummus to dip the bread in and you've got like a fancy french cheese and you've got some olives and antipasti things in those little pots from m s like this is giving me i'm fancy i've got a cool mm, yeah you know what i'm kind of loving this bag a bit more when i first looked at it i was a bit like eh but then it like kind of unraveled itself and opened up from it being folded and it's just really i don't know it's just this like the fit of it like it's so slouchy this bag is giving me like i don't give a fuck vibes i'm just a bag i'm gonna sit how i want i'm not structured i'm gonna be slouchy and i'm, I'm kind of here for that does that make sense i'm not sure i am gonna have to move on to this now so i'm super super excited about this again it's an autumn piece but the rest of the things are like summery bits and i just want to show you this now because i'm too excited and i've not seen it myself yet 
but this is a table runner so this is the one and only homeware piece in this haul but i feel like she's a good one so that's okay and like i said it's a table runner so it's meant for your table but i thought this would be really cute on my desk because my desk she's sat over there so i'm looking at her right now she's quite big i wanted like a really big oversized desk when i got it for my office so she's a big desk and i feel like this would work on it and it's basically this little pumpkin table runner how cute okay so i feel like i'm whispering why am i whispering okay so it's a lovely beige linen material looks like so i don't know why i'm whispering can we stop doing that because that's really annoying um black stripes along the side and then oh okay she's um been fastened on both ends so i can't fully really show you it it's basically got like pumpkins on either end so like that's one side that's the other side like i said it's done up so i can't undo it at the moment um and then it just like is one long thin thing so it's meant to go like down the middle of your table i mean imagine this like in the autumn as well like that's so cute and i love it because it's still pretty plain in the middle it's not too like um out there and stuff and then you've just got the pumpkins on the end and i feel like this would work really well like in your dining room if you then had like pumpkin decorations on the side like mini little pumpkins on like the sideboard or something like that would look so cute and this is only 7.99 i think so like, i thought that's a really good price because i could see this in like zara home being sold for like 19.99 29.99 like really sort of any price up to 30 quid i could see somewhere selling this um so for 7.99 i thought that was an absolute bargain and also what i'm thinking it's not too big either so like when you're not using it say in the springtime if you've got minimal storage this isn't going to take up much space for when you're not using it if that makes sense and i just think it's so cute and like i said i can use it on my desk now and then when i've moved out i can um use it on like a kitchen table dining room table sort of thing you could even use this on like a sideboard you could potentially even use this like on the end of your bed like just because it's a table runner don't let you don't let it think don't think that you can only use this on a table you can use this wherever the hell you want okay and like as a little throw on oh wait a minute guys wait a minute i'm thinking autumn when i'm filming autumn videos this just like replace the gray one put that there but mm, it's a little bit too much color for me i feel like i feel like on a table in a very neutral room this adds a nice pop of color but in this like um concentrated section of video that's a bit too much color for my liking which some people think is weird but that's just me anyway cute pumpkin table runner i'm rambling about that so i shall move on next up i got these cargos these are like a kind of um greeny color sort of cargo they're a really nice material they are unzipped from me trying them on yesterday but this is what they look like so they're quite like oh the lighting keeps changing this video and i just can't be asked to argue with it so it's just gonna be what it's gonna be okay it's a little bit overexposed right now but oh well but yeah they're just like these wide leg cargo so they've got the side pockets they've also got this like um little kind of detailing there um pocket details belt loops really lovely soft thick material and i got these in a size six and they fit really nicely then i got this dress which is an orange satin dress it's kind of like a cowl neck and it's like a mini sort of dress and then it um has adjustable straps and it crosses over on the back and i had high hopes for this but it just wasn't doing much for me like when i put it on i just was not really feeling it like it's okay but it's it just wasn't great on me but this i got in an extra small and it's a really nice lightweight material really lovely holiday dress for like the evening um especially with a tan and it has got like a double layer where your boobs go which i appreciate and it's just like a nice floaty lightweight dress and it doesn't take up much space so if you're going on a holiday where you've only got like hand luggage this is probably a good one but it just wasn't quite right for me and then lastly i got this little scarf i don't know what it is with these little scarf things at the moment but i'm quite enjoying them i first bought an orange one no i didn't actually that's a lie i first bought one last year in the zara sale which had a g on it and it was really colorful then i bought one this year in orange from primark and then i bought a lemon one this year for when i went to the amalfi coast and then i saw this one and i really liked it and it's a bit more like me sort of neutral vibes and i just quite liked it because you can use like these for so many different things so this is kind of like what it looks like it's just got like this abstract print on it but you can tie them around and make them a top you can use them as a headscarf you can use them as like a little twilly type thing on a bag handle um you could use them as like a neck scarf thing i mean that's not really my vibe i feel like it makes me look i mean like that it's okay but you know when you like tie it like that and you look like um you're about to like you've got like a lunch with your nan at four and then you've got 
air stewardessing on a Ryanair flight at five to Ag Alicante or Magaluf or something. I don't know. You know, like when you knot it like that, it just gives me air hostess vibes. But so it's not really my vibe. But you can wear it if you want. Um, I'm trying to think the other ways you can wear these things. I can't really think, but like they're just super versatile. You can even wear it as like a little um sarong type thing on holidays, like a bikini cover up. And this one is actually really, really large and in charge. Um. Does that look a bit like a football pitch? It kind of does to me. You know, like you have like the goal bit, the semicircle for the goal and the lines across it. It's giving me those kind of vibes, but I quite like it. And I, it's giving me like expensive vibes. Like I feel like someone that would wear this would be like, if you were walking in Mayfair in London and someone was wearing this in some sort of way, you'd be like, wow, like she's cool. And that's, that's the vibes I want, you know? And that is the last thing for this H&M haul. I hope you enjoyed it. Apologies for the changing lighting and for my rambling. Some people hate the rambling, and I know you do, but no offence, but that's just me. I'm not going to change. That's just how I am. And some people love it, and they say that it feels like they're on FaceTime to their friends. So hopefully you're in part of the group that loves it. If you are, subscribe down below so you don't miss a video. And yeah, that's what it for this video, and I shall see you at some point soon another one. Bye!